Welcome to Monograph Matters. I'm talking today with Dale Hay and Kay Cook about their SRCD monograph on children's prosocial and aggressive behavior. This discussion focuses on the applications of their work. Kay, could you tell us about some of the applications of your work? First, I think the study has shown, the series of studies has shown that aggressive and prosocial behaviors are social behaviors. Um, there's uh, a, the daughter of a friend of mine who um, is in totally extroverted. When she was about 18 months old, uh, she went, uh, she was at the college where I teach at one point, and she went from door to door, from office to office with her little basket of Valentine's Day candy saying, hi, my name is Kirsten, what's yours? And then you would answer, but she didn't know what to say next, but that was her way of saying hello. And I think, I think these studies show that these behaviors are an early way of saying hello. They differentiate over time, but they are social behaviors. As a clinician, I also think in terms of social skills training, and I think we could begin social skills training earlier than we now do. I think we need to be thinking about preschoolers and their relationships with one another. Um, another implication I think is that um, in the data are children who are clearly aggressive from early on. And we have um, interventions for those kids. They may not be um, applied, they may not, uh, kids may not participate in them as much as we would like them to, but they are available. But there's another group of children who are not clearly aggressive from early on. And it becomes important, I think, for us to identify the risk factors for those kids. My guess is that some of those children could go either way toward more or less aggression. And so I think it's important for us to early identify the risk factors that um, make a child at risk. And I don't think we know what those are yet. I think there are some hints in the data, but I don't think that it is as clear as we need it to be. Um, a third implication is uh, to raise questions, I think about earlier research. Um, in that it is clear that there is a halo effect for some children and that this um, affects the uh, results of the data and that we need to be better tuned in to the ways that people, that parents and teachers read kids and have expectations of them. There's multiple names for this um, from very early on. And those expectations can shape a child's trajectory in ways that we need to pay better attention to. And then I wanna end with talking about research implications. I think the data serve as a corrective to some of the literature out there. Um, I think there is a tendency in the literature to focus in aggressive studies of aggression on those children who are clearly aggressive from early on. And I think we need to be paying careful attention to all three those that are clearly prosocial, those that in the long term have a different trajectory, wh whichever direction it goes, and then those who appear that in the long term they will be uh, very aggressive. And I think we need to be paying careful attention to those three groups longitudinally. I also think, um, and I'm intrigued by the ages three to seven, I think that's a pivotal time for development. And that's not new for me to say that. But I think that this uh, research suggests that um, identification is pivotal. We need to know who these kids are. We need to know them well as individuals, um, beginning around three years of age. I think we wanna know what happens to them as they enter school. Um, because my guess is the transitions of school are a trigger uh, for further development, perhaps um, a pivotal trigger, um, shaping which direction. And I don't mean to say there's only two directions, but it's easier to say it that way. And so I think we need to particularly focus around the preschool experiences and then their experiences as they enter school 
to better understand what is going on, because I think that is really a pivotal time, and I think this data reinforces that perception. Thank you for watching this video on the monograph issue, Pro-Social and Aggressive Behavior, a Longitudinal Study, by Hay, Payne, Para, Cook, Hashmi, Robinson, Karras, and Slade. If you liked this video, consider watching our Monograph Matters playlist. For additional resources related to this and other issues of the Monographs of the Society for Research and Child Development, please visit monographmatters.srcd.org.